Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2 here on the Corky's World channel. We are playing as Vegeta with the Scouter right now. So Vegeta, like season one, you know, the that iteration before he was friends with Kakarot and the Z Fighters and all that. We uh, Last time we beat uh, second form Frieza. Not too difficult. Not too difficult. With not much difficulty. There we go. Uh, because we had the seal near death. But now we're gonna change our items up so that we can actually be good for this these next battles that are coming up. Which, okay, we'll use that. Can't use either of those. And I guess, could probably do that. All right, that should, I never do Kai Blast as a move like by themselves, it just seems pointless. Like, unless I'm trying to stop someone from reaching their full charge. So, what we're gonna do is go up against this guy and it's just see how many... See how many hits we can land, so... So here we go. How you guys all doing at home? Taking a sip of water. Guys, make sure you're drinking lots of water. I know it's getting pretty hot. And it doesn't look like it's gonna cool down anytime soon. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water, staying hydrated if you're if you're working, if you're outside. If you're sitting around the house, like me, you know. His health is constantly recovering, so I really think it's just how many hits we can land on the dude before the time ends. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. Where is it? Lame. Lame. Come on. Can't let this end below a hundo. Not for the great Saiyan Prince Vegeta. That was a terrible... <laughs> A terrible impression impersonation of Vegeta. So sorry. I won't let you get away. <laughs> oh. It seems all like the characters in the early stages have like that full energy volley as like their one of their main attacks. I hate being this close to the enemy because it's like it just feels like you don't really get a good You're not What am I trying to say? You're like too close to like get far enough away from them really fast without like jumping straight up into the sky but sometimes you're like too far that it's just like garbage come on we're at least getting over a hundo see like and then i did the burst but like stopped right there which sucked oh that's a good one uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, we might, uh... See, that's what I'm talking about, like, this awkward fucking close shit right here. Yeah, over 150, so... And then he started doing bullshit like that. The pathetic fireworks. Awesome, so we did it. Way to go us, S plus plus, first try. Super cool. So I think there's one more with the Vegeta Scouter, which might be a little more difficult. And that's this ultimate difficulty one where it's win as your health constantly decreases. So it's kind of like that one we had where we were Goku, where we had to fight, you know, freeze the final form, cell final form, boo final form. Fucking Broly. Who else was in there? Nappa? Someone else was in there too. But, uh. Alright, we start from high tension, which is pretty cool. Player health constantly decreases. We might be able to seal that, but I don't know. So let's just. Let's give it a try for the first run and see what happens. Fucking Bardock looks like. Dude from the Tree of Life, whose name I always forget. 
What does a low-class warrior like you want with me? <laughs> Business with you? Don't make me laugh. Alright, so that's the ultimate we have. Now we gotta get gauge of what that does. Alright, so Bardock's down. On to Tree of Life, dude. Let's play. Him. God, trash. See, I hate that. Like, it, that, it happens so frequently. Like, I'm sure you could go back and capture like ten of them from the footage. But like, that shit where it's just like, oh, you're like four feet away from the dude, but you don't have the consciousness to step forward or back. You're just trying to hit him. All right, so now is our brother for some reason. Like Vegeta's younger brother who shows up. And uh and he only recently showed up in that little like that little mini movie which was supposed to take place after Boo but before Gods and all that new stuff. But that one was really cool where, you know, this kid shows up and everyone's like, he looks just like Vegeta and it's like, oh, it's my brother. And he's married to like a little alien chick and it's a really cool one. It's on YouTube, like I don't think they have a dubbed version out anywhere, but if you can get through Goku's Japanese voice, which is kind of high and squeaky and terrible, uh, it's definitely worth checking out. I really, I really enjoyed it. And it was like in that time frame where we had gone so long without anything new from Dragon Ball Z. So for them to just come out with this movie where it's like, hey, here's all the characters just having like a party at fucking at uh, Hercules Mansion. And Hercules, like, footing the bill and all this shit. Shit. You know, he got the jump on me because I just started thinking, oh, we're actually doing pretty good. Bam! Alright, so all that's left is Goku. And it doesn't look like anyone's transforming, so I think we might be alright. We might be okay. Oh my god. Crap. Ah, uh, okay. So, terribly low on energy. Uh, hopefully this at least knocks him... Oh, God. Didn't even, like, knock him anywhere near close to us. So, I have a plan for how to defeat this, but I'm gonna do it off-camera because, just in case it doesn't work, I don't want you guys to have to sit through another five minutes and then I don't even succeed. So, guys, thank you as always for tuning in. Thanks so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing if you did. Go check out some of my other videos. I got a whole bunch of video games. I try and play a pretty good range from, you know, I play this, I've played Alpha Protocol, I got some Left 4 Dead episodes, Silent Hill is in Corky After Dark, which is a scary game series. Go check out some of my other videos, guys. Give them a watch. As always, guys, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next episode. Later days, guys.